everyone, welcome to Rich Pieces webinar. The, today's webinar is about to make women's suit pattern using Rich Piece garment software, its telling formula design features. Okay, so let's first see who we are. And uh, this is the Rich Piece group website. And uh, these are all of our products. And we have embodier machine, 4G automatic sewing, mach sewing machine, coating machine, CDC software, laser machine, computer con control system, CED machine, CEM equipment, spare parts and accessories, independent device. Okay, let's begin. Okay, first we click this icon, double click, RPPDF, PDF, that means Parameter Design System. Uh, as we know, when we make patterns uh, with a formula design um, uh, method, we should input uh, uh, size and uh, value at on the size measurement table. So first we can click size name to input to input sizing, for example, bus, and uh, we can input value, um, and uh, we can input size. S M L, and uh, we can give uh, the parent, um, parent piece, uh, the dis dispersion, uh, like four uh, centimeter. And also the color of the size we can change. Uh, we can change. It. We can choose the green and click OK. And then after you finish uh, importing, uh, we click OK. Then we can draw the draft. And uh, otherwise, otherwise uh, we can just uh, open uh, Excel or SIC. A file which we have, we have uh, finished uh, importing value and the size. Click open, and I have a si I have saved the SIC file, so we open this one. Click OK. And open. Click OK. So when we click this icon, we can see the size and measurement table. So first we see the uh, we see the bus with his uh, this part length. And uh, if we don't choose the uh, this length, we can see the angle color color angle. And we click, we choose the length, it will uh, bust with and so on, so on, length. Click OK, and now we begin to uh, draw the draft. OK, first we choose the intelligent pen, click left and drag. When we release, we can see the rectangle dialog, then we choose the body part. Bus, bus divide two. Length. Click OK. So we can see the left. The left one is back draft, and the right one. And the right one is front draft. Uh, now I I did, I make a parallel line. We can see the cursor is changed. Okay, we put we put the uh, we put the cursor on the line and uh, click left and drag. And we can see uh, the cursor is changed. So click left. 
and we can see the parallel line and then we can input the value 0.5 ok and then we make the bus line bus modify 0.26 click ok and this is uh, the whole the whole bus line and the front bus line need to up so we do again to up three min three centimeter and next we make the next Click left, we can see the position dialog. So in, uh, choose choose the body part. Next, multiply point two minus point five. Click OK. And then we make we choose next multiply point two okay okay next we we'll find the BP point uh, so first we choose the point tool and put the cursor on on here we can see we can see the point color change the red change red so we hit enter key and uh, we can see the point offset dialog so we choose the post minus post divide 10 and the input value minus 24.5 click ok so this one this here is the BP point and next we find we look for the Central waist line and hip line. So we choose the intended then pen and click left. We can see the position dialog and input input value. Central waist. Click OK. And this one is the century with line and the hip line we put the cursor on this uh, on century with the line and uh, drag. You can see it's a parallel line cursor. So click left and input value. Click OK. This one is uh, the hip line. Next, we make the shoulder slope line. Uh, so first, we put uh, the cursor on on this point and uh, hit Enter key. And we can see the point offset dialog. So we to input the value. Shoulder width, uh, divide two minus. Shoulder width, divide ten minus, and click OK. Okay, this this line is the shoulder slope line. Okay, next uh, we w we record the neck width. Um, so we use uh, the two point distance. Click one point and click next point, and uh, the distance is uh, here. And we click record to view the record. Now we can see this distance is nine point five centimeters. And we can change, 
I can change uh, the, the the name. Click table measurement wall. Click this one and uh, rename. And uh, click OK. Next way. And so, so we make uh, the shoulder slope line for back draft. Also, use cursor put the put this point and uh, hit Enter key and the input value. Shoulder width divide two. Shoulder width divide ten plus point five. Minus, click OK, and the position, position, neck width, click OK, right, click right to end. OK, next we make the back color arc. Put value two centimeter. And use modify modify tool to adjust this arc. And next we draw we make a armhole arc. So first we uh, find uh, the back width point point shoulder width divide with two and uh, Minus 1.5, click OK, and we draw this vertical line as a, as a distance line. Then we can, after modifying, we can get the armhole arc. So next we make a side seam. Choose choose the position width divide four and plus two point two point five. Click OK. And we can see when I when I uh, put the cursor um on on right we can see uh, this this red point. That's that stands for we uh, choose uh, this point as the reference point. So click uh, click left, and we can we can f uh, look for the um, position. Hip hip divide four and uh, minus um, point six. Click OK, and also we and also we can. I need to choose this point as a uh, reference point. So on right side we click left and choose uh, the first name. Hip divide four and minus uh, point seven. Click OK and after 
after we can modify and then we use we use the divider divide this divide this uh, this line this line has two uh, two same lines and we can find the the midpoint and we use intelligent pen to draw the vertical lines And then we can make a, a placket. Also use a parallel uh, tool. Input value. Click OK. And next we make the next lead. So first uh, we should uh, uh, we should fi find uh, the reference point. So we use uh, the two equidistant points. Two and to find uh, the reference point input value click OK point 6 click OK and then we use the intelligent pen to uh, make the knife slit click left and we choose the proper option and uh, input value 0 0.6 click OK And uh, another one, another one we can use uh, the adjust sy symmetry copy. And then we do use uh, the intelligent pen to draw. And then we can use the eraser to eraser, eraser the same train line and to adjust adjust the night slit. Use modify tool. And about uh, the back seam, we uh, back side, back side seam, we can use uh, the seam tree tool, uh, and then use the intelligent pen. Draw again. And then use the eraser to wipe the original line. And use modify to uh, adjust this curve. 
And next, we need to uh, make the sentry, ba uh, sentry back. So we first use the integrated pen. Click left. And click left, input value. Points. Not proportion. Point. Six. Click OK. One point two twenty five. Click OK. One point five eight five. One point twenty five. Click OK. And then to use to adjust it. And after we use uh, the divider. Find the centering point. Then use the two equi equal distance points to to find the reference point. And then use the intelligent pen, choose proportion 0.65. And then use a modify tool to adjust the curve, this curve. Use intelligent pen put on the Put on line and uh, click right. It can change the, the modifying tool. And that's all we finish uh, the back and back and the front pattern draft. Okay, next we make uh, a sleeve. Uh, so we choose choose the bicep uh, circumference. Click OK. And then we can use compare length to record the length of the armhole. Choose compare length to click click left and we can see the distance of it. We can see the length of it and we click record. And click another one, click record. And we can see uh, in this table. And then we can use the compass Compass, click, click one point and click one another point, and move the mouse. Click left, and we can see the double compass. And we choose the parameter, and click OK. And then we use the intelligent pen to draw the sleeve length. Choose. Choose the sleeve, sleeve, click OK. And uh, use two point distance to uh, to measure this two point distance and the record.
then we use uh, the divider. Divide these two lines. Now I'm making the assistant line. And then I can move move the armhole. We use we use the reversal copy. Click uh, the curve and uh, and then click right. Choose the reference point and click left. Click right. Click left. Use divider, divide this. And then use tank and pen to draw the sleeve crown. And after drawing, after making, we can use the modify tool to to adjust uh, the curve. And uh, I make the parallel line. Input value three centimeter. centimeter choose the reversal copy and uh, reversal and copy 
the sleeve crown And then we make the sleeve side. Input value. Curve divide two minus and point six minus click OK and then divide use divider. Find the these two points, centering point, and then using technique and pen. Draw a line and use the reversal copy. To copy the Assess on the line uh, for making the cuff. And use the part eraser with Wipe this this line. And then use intending pen draw draw the curve uh, draw the cuff curve. And uh, use the eraser, wipe, wipe the assist, the assistant line, and use modify tool to adjust them. And then we make another side. And then use modify draw to adjust it. Okay, that's all about our les uh, lesson one. Thank you.